In Botmock, one of the core components of any good prototype are content blocks. And our content blocks work together to create the more technical side, which is covered in intense variables and entities. But in this case, let's just go over what content blocks are. In this case, we're using our airline check-in experience project, which is actually a Facebook Messenger-based bot, or rather, a bot prototype. Here, let's start by creating a new one. Let's start from the starting node right here. These are actually specific components that are made that were made specifically for Facebook Messenger and are the sort of the design constraints, the limitations that Facebook puts on you is all applied here in terms of design and how much you can work with these. So let's, write, let's do a simple web view. As you can see, your web view actually shows up exactly as it would in Facebook Messenger itself, and you can edit it any way you need to. Of course, you can edit them at any point, and you can create as many content blocks as you need to to get the message across. But as mentioned, in, these are specific to their platforms, meaning that in Amazon Alexa or in Google Assistant, you might get something a little bit different. But hopefully, this was helpful in your understanding of what exactly content blocks are, and a little bit about how useful they can be to not just your design team, but also to your development team to make sure that they can visualize exactly how it might look like in the long run.